So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Akansha for scoring rank number one in DM Endocrinology in ESS session 2023, April. And uh, we wish you all the best and congratulations for a wonderful achievement on behalf of all the uh, faculty members of SPEED. Thank you so much, sir. Great, doctor. Can we know a detailed background of yours from where you started till date? Uh, sir, so I have done my MBBS as well as MD in medicine, both from Ames Delhi. So naturally, I wanted to be able to do my DM also from there. So right now, I'm feeling really happy. So, uh, so both undergraduation, post-graduation from Ames Delhi itself. Yes, sir. So then you want to move on with the superficiality in De I mean, Ames Delhi. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Great. So can you share why you want to do endocrinology? There are so many specialties available. And what made you to work on endocrinology and choose this specialty? Actually, sir, uh, for most people choosing a DM branch is relatively straightforward. For me, it was not the case. In fact, for a very long time, I was confused as to what branch I should choose. But finally, when I had my fifth, in our fifth semester of MD medicine, we had our posting in endocrinology. That's when I realized this is what I want to be doing my entire life. Because before that, I could never imagine myself settling in any branch. So it really created an interest in me, that posting. Great. Now, uh, can you tell us how did you prepare and uh, what are your preparation strategies to achieve this rank? Uh, sir, initially I finished my MD in December actually. So... I had appeared for this exam in November as well, but that time I was very underprepared. So then I thought I'll read properly, I'll read medicine properly because medicine also constitutes a very important part of the exam. In fact, out of 80, 30 questions after medicine. So I thought at that time I'll read medicine properly and after finishing MD, I'll focus on super speciality. So at that time I had read very little of the speciality itself and I focused on medicine and after finishing my MD in December, then I started reading endocrinology. So for that, I read uh, Williams, which is the standard textbook for endocrinology. Most of the important topics I tried to cover for, from Williams. And I made sure I made notes initially. Because obviously, uh, just before the exam, it's not possible to read an entire textbook. So I made notes, and uh, which I refer to for revision just before the exams. So what was your last rank, I mean, uh, last November you appeared? I mean, uh, what was the status of that? In November, I was rank 4 in CML and rank 3 in AML. Uh, but I wouldn't get AIMS because there were only two seats. So I thought I'll give it more, another shot next time when I would be better prepared. So third rank uh, in AML, you will order the next to Delhi, which is the next place you will get. Sir, I would be getting PGI, but because I was not even well prepared, so I thought I won't take anything else and I'll give the exam next time. Okay. So, how many hours generally you need to you will allocate your working simultaneously or work, I mean preparing for full time after December? I finished in December, one month break I took in between. So, January I was completely free and focusing mostly on my preparation. February I, onwards I joined as a senior resident in medicine. So, I had to juggle board and OPDs along with studies. But the uh, SRship in medicine is relative, gives relatively enough time to be able to read at least 3-4 hours every day. So, I tried to do that even when I was working. Before I had joined, I used to read like six, seven hours in a day, mostly in the morning and afternoon. Great. So, I mean, uh, how did you come across speed? I mean, uh, what made you to choose speed and how did you use speed uh, videos or the exams for exam preparation? So, to the speed, I came to know across speed for most of my batchmates and seniors. Most of them had used speed during their DM preparation. So, I came to know about speed from them. I use speed mainly for the practice tests because ultimately whatever you read it is how you deliver in that exam which is important. So I used it mainly for the practice tests and I found the tests really helpful uh, like I could identify my problem areas and the kind of questions that I can expect. So it was uh, those practice tests were really helpful. So were you able to attend the live uh, classes of uh, NESS and endocrinology or the recorded sessions which were there loaded in the app based on Williams? I attended the recorded sessions for some, most of the important topics. I attended the recorded sessions. I did not attend the classes live because work with along with work, it was difficult to coordinate. So I did uh, attend the uh, recorded sessions, and uh, apart from that, I practiced tests. I gave the practice tests. So, how many questions did you attend in the exam? In the actual exam, sir, I attended. I attempted all the questions. 80, 80 out of eighty. Yes, sir. Excellent. 
Now, what will be your message for students who are aspiring for DM any specialty and also for DM specialty of endocrinology in particular? Uh, for, for those preparing for any DM branch, I think it is important that most people start preparing for DM right from the early part of their MD. I think MD is something, uh, during MD, we should focus more on uh, medicine. Because medicine is a very important part of the exam and it is so vast that just before the exam we can't read medicine. So we need to be consistently reading medicine in, in our MD first two years at least. That will help us with our MD exams also as well as with our DM entrance exam also. Like this time before DM entrance I did not really read medicine, I was relying on what I had read during my MD. So that is an important point I would like to make and I think speciality everybody reads but it is actually medicine which becomes a game changer in the exam. So those who are strong at medicine, I think they tend to do better in the exam. And for those uh, preparing for endo, I think uh, they can, uh, towards the end of their MD, they can start reading Williams and making notes. Making notes, I feel, is one of the most important things. And towards the end, in like in the last one or two months, they should give, be giving as many practice tests as possible. And uh, Dr. Ran, I also want to ask you, I mean, how you could develop that kind of a uh, confidence? that you are in AML 3 last exam and only two seats in Delhi in uh, for endocrinology and uh, how uh, confident you were to get this either rank number one or two at the maximum to get a seat in Delhi. I mean, what is that kind of a mental mind makeup or self-confidence that you could have for yourself? Because most of them feel, I mean, what will happen to the next exam? Next exam may happen, may not happen. And what is that strategy, my mental makeup that you have? Well, it was actually a gamble that just paid off. But I had my uh, parents who supported me throughout this. They were like, you have not given your best effort this time. You give your best effort next time. And I also knew that last time I hadn't read, I started reading endo only 10 days before the exam. So I thought, Abhi to nahi pada, then I, I still managed to get third rank. Maybe next time I can get a better rank. But <laughs> it was a gamble that paid off. Yeah, so but it's a big gamble. Not yeah. it's not it's not small because the competition is huge and the seats are less, and yes. uh, that's why I strongly always feel this kind of confidence make people win. And I mean to win this exam, this is what is the most important strategy, I believe. The subject is one aspect, and the next aspect is the kind of uh, with the confidence I can do and I can prepare, I can do so, is yes, something sir. great, really great. And uh, can you can you? Uh, uh, I mean, this platform you can use uh, to whom all you want to thank and you can do so. So first of all, my parents who really supported me, I thought they will try to pressurize me into taking PGI last time, but they did not. They supported me. They said, you can give the exam next time. If you, go, if you want to stay here so badly, then you can give the exam next time. My friends also who continued to motivate me throughout this journey. And I would also like to thank the faculty at Speed. Their videos were really helpful, especially for last minute revision. I could quickly go through those videos. Really wonderful, Doctor. And also, we always give an opportunity and a platform for people who want to teach. And in, in case, I mean, if you are interested in teaching and to contribute what you have learned for endocrinology and yes. to students who are aspiring for future exams. And the SPEED will always welcome you to be a part of a faculty team and a resource team for the students for the upcoming years. But I would definitely like to take that opportunity, sir. It would be great to give back to people who are preparing. Yes, doctor, most welcome. And once again, we wish you all the best and all the success as a for a great career in uh, endocrinology. And uh, I mean, for UG, PG and SS, I think your dream accomplished and to do so charity in the same place. And uh, for that, and also for a great career in endocrinology, wish you all the best and all the success in years to come. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.